Hey there, my name is Robert. Thanks for joining us today for your award for the day. 2020 has been such an interesting ride, hasn't it? And what's interesting is that at every single turn, it's been completely unexpected. And for people of every age and situation, I hear this from teenagers to senior adults that never in their life would they expect a year to be so unpredictable. And what's interesting is that for so many in our nation, the thing that's made this year so scary and so troubling is the fact that disease and death has been on the forefront of our minds for the last six or seven months. And as we as a nation, we've been facing this invisible monster out in the community called COVID-19 that, that threatens not just our activities and our recreation and our careers and hobbies, but also our health and safety. And for many, it's seen as a threat to their life as well. And so in the midst of the fear and anxiety in the current state of our world, I wanted to share a few words from Psalm 27. And maybe it's not even coronavirus that you fear. Maybe it's not the things connected. Maybe there's something else in your life that's weighing you down with fear and anxiety. I just want to speak God's word from Psalms into your life today. So Psalm 24 verses 1 through 4 says this. It says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When evildoers assail me to eat up my flesh, when my adversaries and foes, it is they who stumble and fall. Though an army encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war arise against me, yet I will be confident. One thing I've asked of the Lord that I will seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Two things for you here today. First, if you're a follower of Jesus, be reminded that there is nothing to fear. No disease, difficulty, discouragement, or even death should cause you to fear because in the end, Jesus wins. We are on the winning team with Jesus and he calls us to trust him and put our confidence in him. Elsewhere in scripture it says there is nothing that can keep you from the love of Christ and there's nothing in this world that is more powerful than God's working in your life. So trust in that today. Trust in his goodness and his grace. But also understand that, that we have to fully trust in him in order to have that confidence over fears. Don't trust in your abilities or your passions, your health or your income or anything else but in him. So a question for you, do you trust Jesus? Is he the stronghold of your life? If so, he will help you overcome fear and fill you with courage and peace. Secondly, be reminded that God has wired us to have connection with him as the center focal point of my, our life. I love that the psalmist says that the thing he desires from God is to be with God, to dwell with him, to, to spend his time for all eternity with God. And I think we need to have this in our life as both an already, but also a not yet reality. Here's what I mean by that. First, we need to be recognizing that we can already connect with God in this life and be striving for that on a daily basis. So, so be spending time with God, be connecting with him, but also realize that the ultimate connection we have with God is not yet possible. And we should long and strive for that as well, that the, the time that we get to connect and worship with God face to face in heaven. Today, I don't know what kind of fear may be gripping you, but let me encourage you to trust in Jesus as the stronghold of your life, to allow him to come and remove fear from your heart by saying, I trust in you, you are my stronghold. And secondly, strive for the closeness and connection with God every day in order to allow this to happen. See, our fear may overwhelm us, it may encamp against us, our world may be overwhelming you with things that seem to surround you on all sides to, to overwhelm and fear you. But trust in God during this time. Allow him to be your stronghold to give you peace and to give you courage to face every single situation and every single day. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you next time.